sunny day in Midtown Manhattan. Speaking of the sun, every year, nearly 30 million Americans tan indoors. And of these, about 3 million of them are uh, teenagers. 70% of those teenagers are girls. For some, like our next guest, tanning has become a virtual obsession. In spite of all the health hazards, they're willing to risk their lives for the perfect tan. And here is 16-year-old Helen Markowitz. Helen, your grandpa has cancer. Yes, I know. I know. I'm going to stop. I'm going to try. Uh, are you going to stop? Hopefully. I hopefully I won't procrastinate, but right now I really I enjoy it way too much. Well, you talked about this a little bit. Why? Why is it so important to be tan? It makes you glowing. I get a lot of compliments. I just love it. It's a really good feeling, and I know it's not good for you, but... But why is it worth the risk? I don't know. It just makes me look amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you do look cute. You look cute without the tan. Do you get boys' attention? Yeah. If I'm pale and sickly looking, I don't think I'll get as much attention. <laughs> you're not sickly. Look at you there on the left. You look. You're beautiful there too. But you <laughs> saying you. that you do get more attention from boys if you're dark? Definitely, and a lot more compliments. Like, oh, have you gone on vacation? Like, my feet are the darkest part of my body. I'm just, I love yeah, Sarah, it. Sarah, can we get a shot of her feet? They, they are. They're, they're extremely dark for my body, yeah. But you know that cancer can strike your feet, I know. too. You know that. I know. Okay, we're going to have a dermatologist talk to you in just a second. But Eric, let's bring in Eric Hennig. He's 18. He says he indoor tans every, every day. Uh, I try to go as much as I can. Sometimes if I get off work late, they're not open, but usually five times a week at least. Wow. Do you I wish you've been, do you wish you had time to tan this morning? I do. I tried to get in. <laughs> did, did you try to get in this morning? Well, we couldn't find a place. I didn't have enough time. I was too tired. And why did you want to do it before you went on TV? I don't know. I just love it, the feeling. There's not enough words to describe it. It's just relaxing. I think it looks makes you look a lot better as a person, and I just, I love it. Do you get attention from girls, like Helen was saying? Yeah. Like she said, a lot of people ask, have you been on vacation? Just yesterday, the stewardess on the plane was asking me where I came from, and it's a lot of people notice, and I just like it. It's You're getting attention. But there's a limit on how many times the, the salon's supposed to let you tan. Do you ever tan two or three times a day? Well, I've never gone three times. I've gone two. They don't let you go more than a certain amount of time, and sometime, if I don't think I get enough, then I'll go down the street to another place and I'll go in. Now, uh, I just, are, at what level are you? How many levels are there in the tanning bed? Um, my place goes up to four. Some go up to five, but mine's four. I go in the four, and okay. I have their most expensive lotion I use, which extends how dark you get in your tan. Now, I understand you like it without the fan. They have fans in these tanning beds, but you don't use the fan. Why not? I like it when you get really hot. It makes. That's what I like about it. I don't know. That makes it so relaxing. When you get really hot like that, it's just... I don't know, you can't really describe it, it's just amazing. Do you feel like you're frying in a pan? I do, my skin. You do? A little bit, a little bit. Have you ever seen bacon after you fry it? Yes. <laughs> Th that's what your stomach's gonna Show everybody at home your stomach. This is his darkest there. Look at that. Look how dark he is. Uh, dermatologist and, and psychiatrist, Dr. Amy Wexler is here. Doctor, we've got to convince them. Is is the indoor tanning bed more dangerous than the sun? The indoor tanning bed is more dangerous than the sun because the UV radiation, ultraviolet radiation, guys, it's more concentrated. 20 minutes in a tanning bed is like a whole day in the bright sunshine. And 75% of people who get melanoma use tanning beds? It's not that. It's if you've gone to a tanning bed once when you're young, you increase your risk of melanoma by 75%. Oh. Just one time. One time. Mm -hmm. Hey, when we come back, the president of the Indoor Tanning Association, Dan Humiston, is going to join us. He says, you need a tanning bed because you're not getting enough vitamin D. The doctor's going to, her head's going to blow up when we come back. We are back talking about the $5 billion indoor tanning industry and how it affects our teens with us, 16-year-old Helen, 18-year-old Eric, and they are obsessed with indoor tanning. They say they are tanorexics. They admit they have a problem. Dermatologist and psychiatrist, Dr. Amy Wexler, is here, and the president of Indoor Tanning Association, Dan Humiston. Dan, let's start with you. Dan, we've talked to you before, and I remember you saying the reason why you started this indoor tanning campaign, there's a real push for all of us to get our tans in indoors because we need you. We need a tanning bed. Why? 
Well, first, first I, I'd like to thank Helen and, ja and, and, and Eric for being so brave to stand up against the, the establishment and all the hype. We started that campaign to, to show that there is two sides of this story, and the sunscreen industry has just been pushing this one side of the story to stay out of the sun and avoid eating a tan at all costs, and it's costing, us, it's costing people their health. Vitamin D production is, is only done through ultraviolet light exposure. It's the only natural way to do it. And we know that vitamin D production is essential for good health. It helps lower our risk second? for it, mm -hmm. it helps lower our risk for cancer. It helps mm -hmm. lower our, our risk for mm -hmm. high blood pressure. It lowers and I just saw a recent study where it actually lowers our cholesterol. But level. Dan, I can so get that vitamin D naturally walking around, let the sun bounce off of me for a little while. I don't need a tanning bed, do I? Well, a tanning salon is a perfect place to get it because it's a controlled environment. It's you always know what you get. And there, the biggest risk to, a tan, to being sun exposure yeah. is overexposure. Burning is your biggest risk. That's why tanning salons play such a vital role because we can get people exposed and re completely re reduce their risk for overexposure. And as long as everything's done in moderation, 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 moderation. You're, you can remember when your mom says, hey, go out, get outside, get some sun. Yes. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Dan, moderation, sun is natural. moderation is the key in anything. But I can tell you, Helen and Eric are not moderate. They say that they, they believe they are tanorexic. They're obsessed with this. Dr. Wexler, vitamin D, we need to get it from a bed? Absolutely not. And I, w I don't want to get technical, but it's the UVB rays that produce the vitamin D. Tanning beds are 95% UVA. No one's that's, talking that's about that. You're not making any vitamin D false. going that's in a tanning bed. That's absolutely false. That's absolutely false. And the doctor, and she made a couple of statements already that were completely false. This, <laughs> As tanning, did you. Ultraviolet light <laughs> is ultraviolet light. It doesn't matter whether it's from the sun or from it's a tanning salon. It's exactly the same. Dan, what do you get Absolutely your, not. Real quickly, Dan rhymes with tan. Uh, I would think I know Dan, because I'm in the tanning industry. I know. Now, Dan, where did you get, what's your degree? Where did you get your degree and what? What is it? Absolutely, I'm not a doctor, and I wouldn't say it, but I certainly know what, 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 the, what the ultraviolet light that comes out of the sun is, and, it's, and what, the com what the comes out of the tanning lamps are, and it's exactly the same. Okay. The, sun, the ultraviolet light you get from the tanning salon is exactly the same as the ultraviolet light you Dr. get from Wexler the sun. Dr. Wexler doesn't agree. Difference. Hold on right there, Dan. Joining us now to share her story is Megan Rothschild. Megan, welcome to the show. Thank you. you now, look how fair your skin is. You're a beautiful red-headed woman. It's, at what age did you start tanning, using the indoor tanning? I started using the indoor tanning salons at the age of 17, much like these two right here. I wanted to get that glow. I wanted to have that healthy bronze. And unfortunately, it, it really cost me. It yeah, cost you're me. about 20 now. Yep. How did it cost you? Well, at the age of 20, I'm 24 now, I was diagnosed with stage 2 melanoma on mm. my abdomen. Um, it was an area that was not ex exposed to the sun on a mm. daily basis. And uh, I was only visiting the tanning beds once a week for 20 minutes a week. Um, and look what happened to me. It, it really scares me that you guys are going multiple times, even twice a day it worries me that you know this new misleading campaign is telling these teens it's safe to get your vitamin D this way it's it's not what we're trying to do here Helen and Eric is parents try to convince you somehow some way I know you're you think you're invincible but she has drainage tubes in her and scars that are gonna be with her forever does that affect you Helen that scares me a little it definitely does I'm gonna take that into consideration definitely it scares me but are you gonna go tanning today not today, no. Eric, are you tanning today? Um, well, I kind of, I want to make it on time, but... <laughs> but if you could find a bed, you'd tan. Probably. Do, do the drainage tubes and the scars affect you at all? You know, it scares me. It makes me think about if that would happen to me, but it's yeah. just something that, I don't know. Yeah. I just love to go. 